consider the time of year in planning your activities? How about the farmers? When do they plant and dry their crops? People, especially farmers, consider the seasons of the Philippines in planting and in drying their crops or even in doing some activities. A season is the period of the year that is usually characterized by a particular kind of weather. The Philippines has two kinds of season, the wet and dry season. Each season has particular characteristics. Let's talk about the season in the Philippines. The Philippine climate warm and humid year-round. It is considered to be one of the world's healthiest tropical climates. There are two pronouns season. It is the wet and dry season. Let's talk about these. The wet season is characterized by a pronounced rainy season with thunderstorms. Wet season starts in June and peaks in July to September and then falls slowly toward the end of the year. The air is hot and humid which brings heavy rains and typhoons in the country. During the wettest month, rain is an almost daily occurrence. Precipitation is highest in the area where the southwest monsoon strikes. During rainy season, it is advisable to carry an umbrella, especially in the late afternoon. It is also during rainy season that farmers are able to plant their crops. How about dry season? Dry season is characterized by hot and cloudless days. Between January and May, the climate is generally dry with occasional rain showers. During January to February, the air is cold and dry. The peak of dry season is in April with less rain showers. The dry season is influenced by seasonal wind and the northeast monsoon or amihan. Northeast breeze from Siberia and northern China is cool and dry, which brings prolonged period of successive cloudless days. It is advisable to wear light-colored and cotton clothes during warm days to be comfortable. The summer months is the time for some people to go on vacation, swimming, and visit other islands. It is also the time for some people to dry their crops and other goods. Now I'm going to tell you the factors affecting the season of the Philippines. Number one is the location of the Philippines. The Philippines is located a little north of the equator. Being near the equator, the Philippines receive vertical rays of sunlight. The sun's heat causes much water to evaporate and falls as rain later on.
part of the year experiences dry season and part of it is rainy or wet season since the earth revolves around the sun. Different parts of the country experience short dry season while other parts do not have marked rainy season. And the number two factors that affect season of the Philippines is the prevailing winds. Seasons in the Philippines are also influenced by prevailing winds. A prevailing wind is a wind that blows mostly from a single direction. The prevailing winds in the Philippines are the Southwest Monsoon or Habagat and the Northeast Monsoon which is the Amihan. The southwest monsoon runs during wet season. Typhoons also tend to enhance Habaga, resulting in different days of heavy rains across the places of the country. However, for most of the country, the dry season is during a mihan. Now, what are the activities suited for specific season in the Philippines? Let me tell you the activities suited for dry season. During the dry season, you can plan with your family to have a family gathering, family outings like picnics and long trips travel in historical places and beautiful sceneries and do recreational activities like hiking, swimming, and mountain climbing. Dry season is also the season for house cleaning, washing and drying clothes during sunny weather, and gardening and yard improvement. This is so much fun! The dry season is also good for farmers to harvest and dry their crops, and for the fishermen to dry their caught fish. During this season, community activities like team building, outdoor games, and tournaments are done. Fiesta celebrations, community cleaning activities, doing community improvement, community parade and contests are done. Also, during dry season, the government also takes advantage of this season. This is the time for them to construct roads, drainages, fences, and pavements and do some road repair and drainage improvement. What about wet season? Is there any activity suited for wet season? Sure there is! During the wet season, activities are mostly indoors. You can have indoor activities like reading books, watching television, writing short stories, poems and songs, and playing musical instruments is also fun. You can do blogging, chatting, surfing the internet, and playing video games. For farmers, the wet season is important because this is the time for planting. Therefore, all in all, the Philippines has warm and humid climate all year round. It has two pronounced season, which is the wet and dry season. The seasons of the Philippines is influenced by its location on the equator and the prevailing winds that pass over it. <music>